This is Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and, and David Aldridge is... Well, guys, there's a lot of talk about AI and the Rookie of the Year award. Now, he's playing great in his first full season, but there's still a debate about whether he should even be considered a rookie, considering he played in the final game last season. Now, for his part, AI says he's ignoring all the talk, and he'd be honored to receive the award. Guys? Fantastic stuff, David. Thank you, as always. And we saw the same is he a rookie debate with Simmons and Mitchell? And to be honest, I'm still a little torn on AI qualifying as a rookie or not. But one thing that isn't for debate is whether his play has been good enough. On the four for Portland, Lillard the one with McCollum at the two. Harkless is out there with Aminu, and it's new. AI left side. And AI throws it down. And he had more than enough room there. Clock. And, again. and mixing up some coverages for the defense. Here's what Toronto's going with right now. Greg Monroe. He's checked in for Jonas. And, and offensively, he has been a liability Nine. more than he's helped this quarter. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Oh, such a verb. He scored 32 points and was really dynamic, doing a great so job. To follow up a game like that is with an even better one. The Raptors making a switch here. Van Vliet's check. Thank you, Kevin. With a big part of the season now behind us, you are a serious Rookie of the Year candidate. How much motivation does that give you? You know, uh, it'd be a dream to get my hands on that trophy, DA. For all the love that the fans have given me this season, I mean, it would be huge to pay them back with some hardware. So let's, let's hope for best. Would definitely be great for you to see. Kevin, back to you. Him here in the second half. Well, he has been dominant as, as we expected coming into this one. Skilled and relentless. Leonard and Nabaka. He goes up again, and that's two points on the layup. He's moving it up. Here's AI. That's good, and it's one look like that is sure to give them a Dime. Now, here is Lowry, target with his three. It's a plus five advantage for them Dime. in rebounding after that one. Dime. AI dishes to Monroe. Good. Don't Monroe. need to tell him to keep scoring. He'll do it. Now, here's AI. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Here's AI. A beautiful reverse layup in at the three spot. Here's AI. Lays it up off the glass. He seems to be forcing just a little bit out there. He needs to play a little calmer, a little smarter, with a little bit more. AI in the post. He is guarded by McCollum. Two points. Left. Ah, the old uniform malfunction, Kevin, last year. Yeah, maybe you even had a couple malfunctions, and that was odd. Well, the, the, the tide? Bad yeah, tide? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always have yeah, bad tides. You know, uh, I, think I think they're looking back at the material choices ripped away, so maybe the supplier will, will do something about the fabric this year. And now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. And, Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else. Off the mark. Nice defense from AI. Dime. Outside Leonard. And Kawhi will try to forget. And in what's been a solid season, to say the least, tonight's game will push their win total now up to 53. Hi everyone, time to get into it. NBA action on 2K Sports. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of David, thanks. Seems like most stars now want to play on a super team, Doris, even if it means making personal sacrifices. No doubt, and sometimes a player makes it. Leonard, the pass to AI. Trains it from beyond the arc. Better than that. And AI gets it to go on Often, the end. The kind of movement Dime. they create puts tremendous stress on your defense. He was about a lot more than that. He, he's got serious skills down low. Here's AI. An amazing finish with the shot going. Dime. AI 
in the post. He's covered by Livingston. Count that one from Van Vliet. By Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineup. Oh, oh wow. Crazy. That's a beautiful jam. Oh, he got fancy. It's a short one. But they've managed to make it all the way back and tie this thing up. And you love the heart, the fire. They Dying. AI kicks to Leonard. And another basket for Toronto. And skills at such a degree that you're seeing incremental improvement from the guys on your roster. Here's AI. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Just five on the clock. Here's Griffin, and the slam by Blake Griffin. Uh, just nice ball movement there to create that shot. Calderon with the dime. Just four seconds left to play in the third. Here's AI. He got it! Oh, wow! Gentlemen. He got it! And that's a great up. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for Monroe. Baca comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Kyle Lowry in for right. Lowry passes to AI. Dime. And the dunk by Valanciunas. A fit. AI right side. And the basket is... The point guard spot that's so unique. This guy is terrific, finding the open man. AI, that falls. Nice feed. That's a chance to check out some of the tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Guys, I was able to listen in on what Dwayne Casey went over with his team. He told them they have to pick it up. He said there's no time like the present, fellas. Embrace the moment. Just stays calm and delivers. Money! And just great offensive execution by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. What an offensive clinic we have been given today. They're hitting every great extension from me. Die! His length always a factor. Damn. Well, it's official now. Your team is in the playoffs. So what do you draw from tonight's game in terms of motivation going forward? Well, I, I think that we have to stay focused, you know. I, I know that we're uh, in good shape going into postseason, but uh, this is not the time to get complacent. We got a lot of people depending on us to do big things in the playoffs, and you know, we just got to keep our foot on the pedal. Well, we'll see where that kind of aggressiveness takes you in the postseason. Congratulations. Back to you, Kevin.